All eyes and smartphones on the sky at the Farm Brewer Air Show for the flight of Boeing 787-9. An all Nippon Airways Dreamliner that had the chairman of ANA doing his own demonstration of its powerful pitch up into the air. <laughs> Right before it flew, we were given exclusive access to the Dash 9's flight deck as pilots prepped for the show. The airplane's very nimble and it's graceful, and we like to show those lines in the show. In the run-up to the show, the team ran through 13 simulator sessions and 27 hours of practice flights. One of those flights was captured in dramatic fashion by helicopters safely circling the Dreamliner. The pilots say these non-standard maneuvers are made easy in the 787's state-of-the-art flight deck. The ergonomics and the, the visual cues that you get out of the flight deck are, are really good. A roomy space with large displays and user-friendly controls. Soon it was time for their tow and then off to fly. More news for the 787-9, as China-based Rayleigh Airlines finalized an order for six Dreamliners, their first ever wide-body order. Air Europa announced an order for 20 737 MAX 8s, Egypt Air for nine next-generation 737-800s. Also, Boeing secured 10 new orders and commitments for Boeing converted freighters. Back in the air and Boeing roared into action with an F-A-18 Super Hornet, the Navy's multi-role fighter aircraft. A fast aerobatic display, a thrill for crowds, and the Super Hornet's pilot. It's a dream come true, and I hope I don't wake up. What kid doesn't dream of putting on a demonstration in front of a large audience with a high-performance fighter aircraft? For Boeing, the show is about those experiences and its relationships with customers, as seen with ANA, the first Japanese airline to take part in a demonstration flight at the show. I'm also very happy to be here. The airline's chairman and Boeing Commercial Airplane CEO Ray Connor reveled in their moments together and the Dreamliner's starring role at the show.